But it isn't just first responders who have become heroes in this pandemic. All kinds of people who never considered their jobs dangerous are suddenly at risk simply by going to work. CBS 17's Maggie Newland has that story. Some jobs come with more risk than others. Firefighters rush into burning buildings. Police officers confront active shooters. Soldiers go to war knowing they may not come home. They take on these jobs aware of the dangers hey, how you doing? and are heroes in their communities. Most careers are not so dangerous most of the time, but amid the COVID-19 pandemic, jobs never considered risky are suddenly some of the most hazardous. This was something that I've always had a passion about doing. Geraldine Yancey is the executive director of the Canterbury House Assisted Living Facility in Roxborough. She says there have not been any cases of the coronavirus there, but with outbreaks at other assisted living centers and nursing homes across the country, she can't help but worry. It is very stressful, stressful, but the only thing we can do, I can do, and anyone else really, is to just pray. And protect everyone as much as possible. These pictures were taken before the coronavirus started spreading in our state. Now she says staff wears personal protective equipment and keeps residents separate. We cannot prevent uh, what is happening. We can just use the methods that has been put before us washing our hands, using our um, equipment. It's really all anyone who has to work through this pandemic can do. The outbreak has created a whole new set of unexpected dangers for grocery store workers, cleaning crews, and doctors, nurses, and paramedics who have always saved lives, but perhaps never with such a risk to their own. It has also created a whole new set of unexpected heroes. And we are all so grateful to all of the people who are keeping our community going. Now, as for the first responders, like firefighters and police officers, their jobs are becoming even more dangerous because of this virus. Live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.